Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, maybe it's my age, but I enjoyed uh, some of the reflections uh, from the past that we uh, shared this morning. And Ambassador Edelman, and when you uh, said when the Soviets build, uh, when we uh, build, the Soviets build. When we quit building, the Soviets build. How prophetic that uh, that was. Uh, Mr. Miller, uh, numerous senior military officers have testified to their support for the continuing the sea-launched uh, cruise missile program as a means of offsetting the growth in Rus of, of Russia and China's nuclear arsenals, and I agree with uh, this support. Uh, I'd ask you, first of all, do you uh, believe that we should continue this program and uh, you should be able to uh, continue other enhancements as well. Now, you offered in your opening statement to uh, elaborate a little bit uh, if, uh, on this subject, and I'll give you that chance to do it now. Thank you, Senator Hoff. Yes, I, I agree that a nuclear sea launch cruise missile is important, both to deter Russia and China, each of which have large tactical nuclear arsenals, and to reassure our allies who are faced by those specific tactical nuclear arsenals. So it is a program that I think is modest, but I think it makes a useful contribution. And I don't think it, it creates any sort of an arms race potential because we're basically at, at very low levels there and both Russia and China have much higher levels. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, and I, I agree with that excellent statement. Uh, this question would be for, um, for all witnesses. Considering what we know about uh, China's nuclear breakout and Russia's large non-strategic uh, nuclear weapons uh, arsenal, do any of you believe that the United States should not continue modernizing its own forces? I'd like to have each one of you respond to that. Senator Inhofe, I completely agree the U.S. must continue its modernization programs of all three legs of the triad. I, too, agree that the United States must continue its modernization programs at pace uh, across the program of record. Thank you. Senator Inhofe, um, as I said in my opening uh, oral remarks, I think it's imperative that we do so to sustain deterrence into the future. Excellent. Uh, Senator, I, I absolutely agree, and as I said in, in my remarks, I think in the out years, in the 2030s, we may need to augment that program by buying more SSBNs and more long-range standoff weapons, and I'm happy to elaborate on that at some point if you want. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate the uh, specifics uh, uh, tested by uh, each one of you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.